Hey, what's up? Welcome to episode 3 of Operation Ceasefire, powered by, of course, Predator. Ako si Kai, kasama niyo ngayon, si Calbs. And ang ating guest pa rin na... Outfit change. Guest pa rin, yun, no? Parang kailan ba ito pa? Oo, sige. Guest pa rin natin si Nate. Lilito next time. Pero, again... Yeah. Ayan nga. Welcome back. So, new episode, new topic today. What's Universal the topic? Heroes. Of Dota pa rin tayo. Siyempre, Dota uh, casters, stick tayo to what we know. Wag na tayo mag-venture out <laughs> to other... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, stick tayo sa Dota. Universal Heroes. First take. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I, I think... Broken. <laughs> uh, take uh, one word to describe Universal no, Heroes. No, no. Definitely. I think yun talaga yung... One yung... word na. Definitely. Pwede broken. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Ah, sige, sige. <laughs> <laughs> imba. Uh, ganun na lang. Imba, imba. Scuffed. Para Scuffed. pa mga gamer terms. Uh, Scuffed. Scuffed, bro. Scuffed. Le, imba, imba. Para sa akin yung ano. Um, pero kasi, again, if you put something into the game na bago, mm. never naman talaga siya magiging balance ka agad. Mm-hmm. It takes time. So, I think yun na naman kasi talaga yung naging problema. I, I, I think, um, yung idea lang na parang sa stats, ba wala kang bonus ng stat. Pero, I mean, wala ka nung damage bonus ng stat sa main attribute diba yun naman ginawa mo. nila so lahat ng mga stats na dadagdag may damage ka per ano so, ganun, some kind of number nakalimutan ko na kasi iniiba na lang nila diba so so basically yung ganun kumaga magkakaroon talaga ng parang mid game spike diba yung hero na yan <laughs> for sure uh, so so obviously yung yung ganun it's more on sa mga mid mid heroes madalas diba na gumagamit yung mga ano like pango void spirit diba i think sa uh, mid recently feeling um, ko biggest universal hero na dumating na talagang na touch ng lahat is hmm. Void Spirit. Yeah. Siya kasi may highest na ano eh. Well, for, for, for people na hindi pa familiar, Universal Heroes, basically, kung, kung kunyari, strength, mm, may nagigay strength, kang... Uh, strength, Aji, Int. Strength, Aji, Int, di ba? Uh-huh. Ang nagigay ng Universal Heroes is... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Uh, bonus damage, every uh-huh. level. So, out of all the Universal Heroes, I think ang may highest is si Void Spirit, which is 5.5 right. per level. Right. Totoo. <laughs> Ipipin mo at level 10. 5.5 times 10 man na lang. Yeah, diba? so, Ilan yung base damage yeah. na makukuha mo from that? Kaya, kaya ano talaga siya eh? Parang, uy, gawin na lang natin physical damage build to. Wata yung mm-hmm. Deso, wata yung Echo Saber. Yeah. Diba? Harpoon nga din. Harpoon. Yung bagong item, medyo. Kaya nga, kaya nga, <laughs> kaya yun yung mga words na ginamit natin to describe them. Na parang broken, scuffed, yeah. parang imba. Kasi, yun talaga eh. Mm. Early power spikes. Tsaka, ano, Void Spirit, na-imagine mo maabot ng 3.5, 3.6 yung HP ng hero na yun. Mm. With mm-hmm. Manta, Manta... May resonant pulse ka pa. May Ayun, damage block ka pa. Mm-hmm. Kompleto eh. Ah, mm-hmm. ah, ah, oh. I mean, I mean, opinion ko nung una, it's really good na there's actually, I mean, Valve or Icefrog is adding something new into the game. Mm-hmm. Kasi we haven't heard anything, di ba? Uh, universal Hero. Mm-hmm. Ang alam lang talaga, mainly attribute sa mga games, strength type, agi type, in type, mm. di ba? Ito yung mga primary. Kung baga, yung kasi yung talagang staple pagdating sa yeah. games. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Maski anong game, di ba? Mm. Yung talaga yung parang ano, uh, mga attributes or mga stats ng mga heroes, players sa game. Mm-hmm. Pero nung na-introduce yung ano, uy, something good. Tapos nung binasa ko na, oh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> kasi ipa mo yung ano eh, kung baga yung, na-mention ni Kai, di ba? Yung ikaw multiply mo, yun yung magiging base damage ng hero which is sobrang outrageous di ba mm-hmm. mid game pa lang yun what more pag umabot pa tayo ng late, late game, game. Exactly. pag, pag uh, nakakuha na ng 6 latid ding hero mm-hmm. kumbaga nabuo niya na yung mga kailangan niya di parang ang easy na lang parang never mind pero yun nga ano eh ang imba niya yun yung word yeah. to describe it especially yung player na gumagamit sa hero talagang sobrang gamay niya yung hero. <laughs> Which is marami <laughs> tayo niyan. Though, pers- I-, I think nung unang labas, yes, broken siya. Ay, 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 ay. For me, I think medyo mas nabalance na siya ng onte. Um, Which, nang, nang onte, I, I would slight. say, uh, nang, nang slight. Pero, kasi kung titignan mo rin na naman kasi yung mga, um, yung parang yung, yung overall meta, like, let's say, balikan lang na naman natin yung, yung Bali Major. Medyo nag-follow up din yung mga ibang hero eh. Diba? Void Spirit. Yeah, I, I mean, playable. <laughs> I, th- I think initially, um, may mga players or teams na may nakita sa na parang may, may something dito na pwede may exploit. I think Nine Pandas was the team that uh, tried to exploit Wind Ranger carry a lot. Mm-hmm. Si Ramsey sata ano. Mm-hmm. Pero obviously they didn't make it too far. Um, and and eventually, the ba hindi rin naman naging parang meta masada yung yung Wind Ranger. So I, I think there are things na parang nagiiba din uh, to a point na parang hindi na tuloy siya nagbumukam broken para sa akin. It's still strong. Don't get me wrong. But it's it's mm. like not as broken as before. Ako, ako isang inexpect ko na ginawa ng few teams. 
was yung magraron ka nga ng universal hero na offlaner. Pero ang playstyle mo is mag-shift. Kailangan niya mag-shift into a very mm. aggressive, aggressive playstyle. Yeah. Kasi kailangan mong i- i- kailangan mo magcapitalize din sa power spike ng ano mo eh. nung offlaner mo eh. So, mm-hmm. since, sino ba few offlaners na before na universal ngayon? Beastmaster, Beastmaster, Beastmaster Lycan, uh, Timberso, Lyca, Pango, Enigma, Pango. Uh, Windranger, di ba? Mm. Yeah. So, kung mag, kung mag-play off of doon ka sa, ano, if you're gonna play off of the power spec na nakuha nila, di ba? Malaking factor siya sa, sa pacing and sa damage output niyo mm-hmm. sa early game. And, kaya, with the addition din ng universal heroes, bumalik na tuloy yung sobrang unused na item, Crimson Guard. Yeah. Sobrang sobrang trash mm-hmm. ng item na before. Kaya before, kaya ganun Tsaka din. Tsaka may rate pack. Oh, yeah, may rate pack kasi nung time na yun. Right, hindi, right. Pero, hindi, sorry. Pero even before nauso yung rate pack, si Crimson Guard di na talaga nagagamit. No, no. Uh, bago, pa, bago pa magkaroon uh, ng rate pack. I would sobrang, say Vanguard niya. Hindi nga hindi na masyado. Hindi na nga nagagamit. Ano, <laughs> kasi <laughs> instead of going ano, eh, Vanguard ka or Crimson, pipe ka na lang. Mm. Pipe, oh, exactly. Diba? Kung gusto mo lang yung regen. Mm. Kasi early, hindi kahit ngayon pipe na wala eh. Na, kasi na, yung pipe sobrang mahal dati. Wraith band. Tsaka mga oh, bracer, diba? Yun yung ginagawa. Mag-ganong ka na lang uh, instead na bumuo yeah. yung support mo ng pipe mm, or crimson yep, guard. Yep. Pero ngayon kasi more on team fight din eh. Yep. Pero ano rin kasi, yun yung mention ni Nate, kaya parang hindi naging ano, um, hindi rin nagtagal yung carry na Wind Ranger mm. or yung ibang mga universal hero picks like um, yung Void Spirit nga na sobrang hot, diba? Yep. Mm. Ito rin kasi maganda sa Dota eh. Especially mga players. Mm-hmm. Ang bilis sila na makapag-think uh, ng mga ways. Adjust. Yeah. Yeah. Adjust to counter that. Yung mga ganong klaseng ano, strats. Yep. Eh, eh lang yung ano, something good about Dota na parang, for me, ah, ayun yung parang gusto ko na ang bilis lang talaga makapag-adjust ng mga players. Okay, ganito pala gagawin. So, ganito gagawin namin. Hmm. Ako, feeling ko laging merong mga off-meta heroes na hindi lang nila ginagamit kasi takot silang like, gamitin ngayon or either ayaw muna nilang gamitin pero mm. under the radar na nila. Oh, may, may ano eh. May, ano nga ba yung team yung biglang naglabas lang ng hero? Hindi ko alam ang Chinese team eh. I, I, I just forget. Itong Bali major lang. Mm. Nung oh, layups. Feeling ko, hindi. Example na lang siguro SR. Yung carry Lycan nila. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sila lang ata na carry Lycan. Eh. Pero kasi... I remember. I remember. Ano eh. Ano rin kasi <laughs> Parang ano eh. Late na nila na figure out na yung Lycan pala. Mm. Sobrang outrageous pala pag... <laughs> Nabuwan mo ng harpoon, mm. ng manta. Mm. Parang late na rin eh. Pero still, workable, di ba? Mm. Kasi kung isipin mo si Lycan, may howl ka na. Yeah. May, uh, tag dito. Minus armor na yun eh. May minus yung armor. Minus damage uh, uh, din. Uh, yeah. Yung may feral impulse. Mm. Yung may feral uh, impulse may, ka may pa. May bonus, I think, base damage or something. May bonus damage ka sa yeah, yeah. units mo. Naalala ko rin kung bakit naging, ano naman yung, naging ting na naman yung Lycan like, nitong Bali. Kasi, mm. Mostly, di ba, to counter yung Medusa, Terrorblade, yung mga illusion heroes, hmm. kumagamit sila ng, ano, ng Shadow Demon. Hmm. Eh, pag may yeah. eh, Shadow Demon ka, pag may Lycan ka, wala nang kwenta yung Shadow yeah, Demon mo. Ha. So, yeah. parang, okay, sige, pick kayo ng SD, we'll just go for Lycan. Hmm. May mga hmm. ganun na naman kasi talaga. Tsaka kasi, yung, yung, ay, sorry. Yun, 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 kasi, ganun na naman pagdating na sa Dota, eh, you find the most broken thing, counter mo yung broken thing. Diba? Ganun naman kasi, yeah. usually nagsisimula yan sa either mid or carry. Ano ba yung pinakamalakas na hero mm. at, uh, of this patch, diba? Tapos dun mag-re-revolve around yung meta. Tapos uh, obviously mm. yung offlane mo, oh, paano kayo kakounter rin sa lane yung carry. So, nag, nag-ano eh, kung mag nag-iibar, medyo parang ano lang naman yun, ano ba tawag sa ganun yung parang merry-go-round in, in a sense. Oh, yung, kaya nga, yeah. nag, kumbaga cycle lang siya. Oh, yeah, yeah, cycle. Yeah, 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 cycle. Yeah. Kaya nga, yung, yung mahirap sa meta siguro. Kasi, ang, kaya ang daming heroes din na hindi nagagamit. Mm. Dahil lang, because of the meta. Kunyari, Medusa ka. So, kuha ka lang ng mga heroes na malakas versus Medusa. Yeah. Yung other heroes na are actually really good pa rin, hindi nagagamit. Mm-hmm. Just because the possibility na nandito tong hero na to. Parang, For sure. Yung, yung ang nangyari tuloy, na, na, ah, tawag dito, na overshadow yung mm-hmm. other good heroes pa rin. Kung malakas yung hero, pero hindi lang talaga siya bagay sa patch ngayon. Parang oh, ganun. Yeah. Tsaka, but, tsaka but, parang, uh, sorry, parang FOMO din eh. Mm-hmm. Kung ikaw, di ba, alam mo yung mga, may, may mga meta heroes, but, yeah. Bakit tayo magpipik ng ano, di ba? Doon tayo sabay tayo sa kuwani meta. Parang ganun nga lang mm. nangyayari. Aside from Void Spirit, sino pa tingin nyo sa mga universal heroes yung as in broken? I would say honestly, nung una pango, kasi in-adjust na lang ng konti yung pango. Uh, um, now, now I would say laking bagay nun. <laughs> yung scary is probably Broodmother. Medyo bumalik siya ng konti. Although, yung Binalis Broodmother, again, say, eh, binales, again Pero, binales still na kasi Still very strong. Mm. Yung problema din kasi, ano eh, I mean, what, what we got from the Bali Major, nagkaroon kasi na bagong update, yung E. Mm. So, yung mga broken doon, parang medyo na-adjust na na ng konti. lang. Eh. We'll, we'll see kung favored pa rin yung mga heroes na yun for the teams playing in Riyadh, diba? whether or not magiging malakas sila or, or whatnot. But, um, I think Beastmaster is always gonna be something na, eh, well, may, may mga heroes din kasi na ano eh, parang hindi Never mo mawawala. masusulit mo talaga yung right-click. Uh, pagdating sa university, pero hindi talaga mawawala kasi mm. it's, it's, it's a concept eh. Diba? Mm. 
Um, pero yung interesting lang kasi kay Beastmaster, I think napag-usapan na natin to before, ay, nung, nung, nung pag-start ng araw. patch. I mean, pag-start ng patch pa lang. Kahap, kahap, Ikaw, sabi mo, parang broken yung agrims, di ba? So, ah, uh, yeah, obviously, yeah. it's not as broken as we thought, pero it has its place in the mm-hmm. game. Uh, so, uh, maganda kasi talaga siya versus sa mga illusion heroes, yeah. right? and whatnot. Yung timing kasi na mga kuha mo. Yeah. Um, Sustain kung gusto mo lang ng frontline. Tsaka mas involved ka sa teamfights. Yeah, exactly. Pag so, Beastmaster na ags ka. Yeah. Pero ako, kung tatalo nyo, ano pa yung mga surprise? Mm. Tama ba ako? Oh? Um, yung Enigma, Universal Hero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ako kasi parang, simula nung na-nerf yung ano, yung Enigma which is yung ano niya um, demonic conversion niya mm. hindi ka na pwede mag ah, demonic conversion na range creep yeah, yeah, yeah. so I find na parang yung Enigma parang ah okay medyo pangit nga mm-hmm, mm-hmm. pero sa baling ear medyo bong abarik na ako hindi ko na-expect yeah, yeah. na para mabipick siya ulit and there's a lot of heroes din to counter that hero like Beastmaster yun dyan yeah, diba? yeah, yeah. Uh, even yung uh, Silencer kaya naging yung Silencer dito medyo tumakas yung pick rate eh. gawa mm. nga rin nung Enigma mga balik na naman. Right. So, I don't know. Um, if strong ba talaga, parang fluke lang yung mm-hmm. hero na yun for mm-hmm. the past, I mean, for his past major. Pero, parang confident pa rin yung mga teams when picking Enigma eh. <laughs> yeah, so, it's, just, see, it's just a hero na parang paborito lang din kasi minsan ng mga players. Aside, aside mga from players. that, kasi yung, yung bigger impact siguro ni, ni Enigma. Kung, pipi, kung il, parang ilaline up mo yung mga, uh, mm-hmm. ako tinatago silang utility slaves. Yeah, hero. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, sino ba yung mga yan? Uh, Yeah, besides, besides, oh, I mean, besides, 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 on cold and black hole pero hindi na nga nagagamit it's, na ipapanalo it's, pa rin. It's a win condition skill eh sa totoo lang oh, din kasi. Um, but, kaya niya talaga magpanalo ng laro. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though, again, like you said, Enigma is not always picked for his black hole eh. Mm-hmm. It's picked for its uh, stable lane. Mm-hmm. It's picked for the fact na marami kang mga ibang build. Pwede kang mag uh, blink BK bit of pressure. <laughs> Pwede kang mag... Hindi ka matatalo sa Enigma basically. In, the, in, in a way. I mean, punishable siya. Sorry, punishable sorry, siya. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sa lane. Hindi ka matatalo. Sa lane, it, it's a bit hard. Um, madali siyang i-gank and whatnot. Pero kung marunong kasi talaga yung, yung Enigma, um, kaya niya talaga ma-abuse kasi yung Eidolons. Mm. Eh. Kasi ang hirap mag-lasset and deny uh, in the lane. And, and that's what you need eh. In the lane, lasset and deny. Hirap mag-trade. Yeah, exactly. Mag-trade. Tsaka yung mention ko rin yung Eidolons doon. Kasi di ba, yung, yung agad yung short upgrade niya, mm. even though talo sila sa teamfight, talo sa teamfight, mm. nagamit nila lahat, even the black hole, magugulat ka na lang yung idol nasa push na pala oh. yeah, no, no, no. ayun nga yung sago yun, yung, yung, yung pala. talents yun eh yung talents no, yun. yung annoying yun, 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 management niya yeah. ang bilis bumasag for sure lalo na versus uh, heroes nga na madaming illusions yung Naga Siren Medusa mm-hmm. TB mm-hmm. diba so parang pag may enigma kasi wala kang problema sa pagmamanage ng lanes mo yeah I mean it's it's a bit tough versus sa mga illusions I, I think Naga is not bad versus uh, enigma, enigma sa lane uh, uh, uh-huh. kasi kahit pa paano kayo makipagsabay yung dalawa yung dalawang illusions ay mo lang sa mga idolans para makamatay yung mga idolans sa mata pero I mean overall kumbaga yung, yung idea lang na parang basta mahuli mo kasi yung main hero mm. you're good to go uh, laka ba naman ng black no, hole yeah. eh. <laughs> pero eto <laughs> tingin nyo bakit kung universal heroes na parang okay damage wise mas mataas sila naturally compared mm. sa usual co- agility course natin bakit hin- bakit ko baga bakit ka pa rin pipick ng agility hero I, over a universal hero kung ang usapan lang is is damage para sa akin kasi yung universal hero kasi they, they definitely have a mid game spike pero ang binubuo mo kasi is stat items. Hmm. So, you're not going for the items like Daedalus. Pwede, pwede, pwede ka pa rin na naman bumili ng Daedalus and whatnot. Pero kasi hindi, kung mag- hindi, hindi ka magiging efficient when you buy those items. Hmm. So, you're buying items like, nabi yung pinaka-basic na build. Um, Harpoon, Manta. Manta uh-huh. diba? Minsan, BKB kung kailangan. Uh, minsan, Skadi pa, diba? For, yeah. for the stats. So, kung maga, you hit that mid-game timing. Pero pagdating sa late game, wala pa rin talaga makakatalo. Sa natural na nag-right-click talaga. Mm. Like you're, again, you have heroes like Terrorblade, you have heroes like Medusa, you ima, have heroes like uh, mga heroes Dranger. talaga mubo ng ano, ng butterfly. Mm. Mm. Kaya parang ano, st- nag struggle university heroes sa mga ganong ano, eh, mga mga course na aji mm. na may butterfly. Mm. Kasi wala silang MKB. Uh-huh. Iba kasi priority nung ano eh, nung Universal Hero when when it comes to uh, the builds. Itemization. Uh-huh. Or sa itemization niya. Uh-huh. Tsaka malaking factor din kasi sa Universal Heroes. Yung skill set pa rin kasi. Yung, yung tools ng Heroes. Mm-hmm. Kung titignan nyo, most of the carries kung bakit din sila napipili. Kasi, example na lang, Morphling. Mm-hmm. Meron kang minus stats pag, kumuha, pag naka-ags ka. Yeah, actually, that's a big factor. Uh-huh. May mobility ka, may burst ka. Yeah. So, Kompleto yun eh.
kung titignan mo yung most of the universal heroes. Kaya ang ganda rin ng pagka-balance nila eh. Yep. Parang tinignan din nila na, na pag ginawa ba natin universal hero to, okay pa rin siya. Yeah, Or masyado yeah. na talaga tong broken na parang, hindi, may chrono ka na, ano ka pa, ang laki pa <laughs> yeah, ng damage. Yeah, 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 for sure. Kaya for sure. ano rin siya, parang huge thought kay uh, ano rin eh, yung ginamit talaga para i-adjust yeah. yun. I-, I would say yung change na magkaroon ng universal heroes is probably the biggest change in Dota. Uh, to, uh, 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 overall. Overall. Um, uh. Yeah, pwede mong lipat-lipat si Roshan or whatever, gumawa ka ng mga bagong yeah, shrines or whatever. But I think yung universal hero kasi is, is something that is very big and it's it's something that's gonna be there to stay talaga hmm. na na-change na. Uh, ang laki, kumbaga, it's been constant eh. from the start of Dota na tatlo lang yung, yung yeah. attributes eh, oh. kaya nagkaroon ka na extra diba? um, pero actually something na yung, yung rason siguro kung bakit hindi talaga naging parang mukhang broken yung mga universal heroes uh, sa, sa major was definitely because of the uh, ano, the agrams na morphling na mention mo din eh, diba? mm-hmm. I, I think yun kasi yung rason kung bakit sobrang umos si morphling kasi isipin mo bubuo ka ng mga stat items, stat items. Yeah. tapos mubuo lang si morphling ng agrams 40% w- wala ng stats mo wala, wala. Na, diba? mm. that means 40% of your damage gone Diba? Mm-hmm. Ang laking factor ng ganun eh. So, I think yung the way din kasi kung bakit na-nerf din si Morphling ngayon, there is a chance na yung Universal Heroes, baka bumalik yung mga Universal Carries ulit. Mm-hmm. Like kasi maybe ma- with Ranger, yun, yun, Marcy, sa, mga ganun. Yeah. Uh, with the factor nga na parang wala ka kasing inaago ng specific na stats saan eh. Mm, it's, sa it's all the stats. Eh. Uh, diba? Hindi kasi pag, pag Morphling ka, diba? pag naka-ags ka, mm. kung strength, kuha kang stat res, yep. agi, kuha kang attack speed, yep. and kuha kang spell, uh, spell damage. Mm, parang ganun niya. Wala yeah. siyang something for universal heroes pa. It's, it's extra stats. So yung base ata was like what? 20%, 20, 20% or something? Uh, Tapos yung kapag sa uh, agrims naman ng morphling, 20% extra. So 40% mm. overall. So yung base na 20%, inaagaw mo sa lahat. Pero yung special naman sa universe of 20%. So 40% mm. again, that's very big. Mm. So yun yung rason kung bakit pero medyo nag-fall off din yung mga Ah, uh, universal, your universal heroes na. Yun yung hindi nakikita ng iba eh. kasi parang bakit daw pinababayaran ni Morph? I mean, mm. ano daw kung maganda sa Morph? Yep. Hindi kasi naiintindihan mo si ng mga I mean, mga casual viewers mm. lang na or casual players. Ang laki ng bagay nung nakukuha ng Morph. Damage yeah. lang talaga. Eh. Yeah, mm-hmm. eh, eh, yeah eh. So, kung if you're matching up with yung mga Void Spirit nga, eh mm. grabe ko mo. I mean, yung stats doon eh, sarap talaga mag-morph doon na yep. nakaagad yep. kasi yep. Yung, 20% yung stats kagad na makukuha mo against to sa hero. Eh sobrang, ako oh, ako oh, ah, nung Bali din, strong talaga, especially kung, again, yung hero din naman kasi complex. Hindi mm. siya yung basic hero lang yeah, no, no. na kaya gamitin yeah. ng average player. Uh-huh. Pero for you to maximize that, kailangan highly mechanical, uh, mechanically skilled ka din, sure. ka din dapat. Yep. Mm. So, okay. in terms of balancing, in terms of nerfing, t- uh, tingin nyo, enough na na parang mag-tweak ka lang ng onte sa base stats? Kasi like kay Void Spirit, di ba parang, binawasan pa yung base stats niya eh. And yeah. nag-move, nag-move ng onte sa talents. Level 15 talent, yung I, dissimulate, inakit sa 20. It, it remains to be seen. Siguro, depende na lang. Kasi, Hindi ko pa kasi nakikita. Uh, din, eh. Nakabase na lang din siguro kung may makita yung mga pro. May makita Pero, yung mga teams na parang i-abuse nila. Ako siguro on paper, okay pa rin si Void Spirit. I think he's okay. Yeah. Kasi, uh, yung problem na naman kasi minsan like for, for these spirit heroes is minsan may mga very bad lanes na talaga sila. Kaya hindi uh, sila match, match na lang. Yeah. Uh, Again, yun nga yung, yung na-mention natin kanina. May mga times talaga na okay pa rin siya on paper. Mm. Pero just because na yung direct counter niya is meta dahil pinipick siya for these yeah. specific reasons. Kaya hindi lumilitaw. Kaya mas umuuso yung mga heroes like I would say Ember, Pango. Mm. Kasi okay talaga silang i-blind pick eh. Yeah, for Pango, maybe you ban Bloodseeker. Tapos ano mm. um, You ban something else. Diba? Maybe like TA or, or Ember. Mm. Oh, okay yan eh kumbaga, kumbaga okay talaga siyang blind pick pero for for some heroes naturally the way they work hindi talaga okay sila mm. sa lane so alam mo yan so, it depends kung ano man yung approach mo minsan kasi yung mga pro player okay yung matalo sa lane kasi alam ko naman na pagdating sa mid game impact okay uh, ako diba? like top sun diba? pag-usapan natin before so, so, yeah. so siguro in, in the near future or in the future na lang parang mm. nag-open up siguro to ng other ideas no other possible changes pa na parang Hoy, may universal na tayo. Bakit hindi mm. pa tayo magdagdag ng another stat? Something oh. something na let's say, example lang, parang top of my head, luck. Luck. Kasi may may crit chance kay. Kasi oh. kubaga magpo-proc ka lang ng mga bagay-bagay. Di ba? Let, let's say, kunyari, lagay mo dito yung mga heroes na may mga passive abilities na nagre-rely on pataas ng percentage. On ano, eh, no? on chances, di ba? Percentage. Who knows? Eh, example lang. Who knows? Pero possibility siya, yeah. di ba? Kasi Why not? Pero ako, I think more more on more than the hero siguro. Isang lagi kong binabanggit dati uh. na same sentiments kami ni Yatoro. Uh. Sabi niya kung kung if in the future pwede mo tanggalin din yung BGB. Kasi tanggalin mo yung yeah. BGB, it's gonna change the whole game. Talagang malaking factor siya. 
Yeah. Oh, isa, isa yun sa mga parang sa akin. Well, one step na tayo doon kasi spell, hindi na siya spell immunity na ngayon. Debuff, yeah, debuff immunity. immunity uh, big change sa totoo lang doon. Uh, pero ayun nga, kung gusto mong baguhin yung game kasi kailangan mo talaga, you need to do something drastic if you want to keep it fresh. Ng, tulad nung ngayon. Ako, 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 I think it's very refreshing na yeah. yung ginawa nila ngayon. Ako, with the universal games. malaking change siya talaga kung tatawin eh, yung eventually, eventually. Yun, no? uh, oh, ako, ako, opinion ko dyan. I mean, it's really good na they did something new. Sa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa, I mean, doon sa blocking bar or sa BKB, di ba? Uh-huh. Which is before spell immunity. Mm-hmm. But, ngayon, ta- I mean, which is nalilito pa nga tayo. I mean, la- spell immunity. Bit. I mean, debuff Pero immunity. Pero debuff kasi. Yeah. Pero I don't think natatanggalin nila yun. Bakit? Kasi almost all of the games, may something talaga na may, I mean, may galang mo mag-rely doon. Oh, yeah. Yun nga, kaya nga parang para sa akin. Bago, it talaga mix up parang curveball talaga na tanggalin na natin tong BKB tingnan natin may, 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 mga hi, may mga heroes na kailangan mo talagang ibahin pero ito ay oh yun nga syempre kumaga meron with, yung mga ibang change. heroes na kailangan magkaroon sila ng innate na parang ganoon oh na, with that change yeah. syempre may tweaks din na around changes, pero so, hindi kumaga sinasabi ko lang yun yung parang pinaka main idea mo doon ka mag magpe-play around yeah. na parang kung tatanggalin natin si BKB anong magiging ang ang scary Impact lang ibang, kasi. Ano, diba? Ang scary ano lang kasi yung mga ibang hero magigiyo lang kuwenta talaga. Uh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely ganun yung mangyayari sa ibang heroes. Yeah. Pero gusto ko rin yung ginawa nila sa BKB which is tinaasa nila yung cooldown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung duration eh, din, di ba? Eh, parang ginawa na lang iba. Uh, so, binago nila. Yeah. Different approach. So, It's very interesting. Yeah. Actually, okay pa rin naman siya mm-hmm. for now. Mm-hmm. Yung medyo na- ang weird lang kasi nung, ano, nung mechanic nung, uh, nung debuff sa BKB pumapasok yung damage eh. Yeah, less nga lang yung uh, damage less, uh, pero pumapasok. Pero pumapasok. Tsaka, 70-80% damage reduction uh, or 90% pang, ni- I, I, guess I, think ni- I think it's 50%, well, 50% I think. Meron kasi yung mga damage reduction. Hindi, hindi siya damage reduction. Yeah, no, hindi, yeah, yeah, hindi, hindi, hindi 50%. Hindi siya 50%. Yung, hindi, basta yung, yung, sa sobrang yung, baba. Yung job yata. tsaka yung life steal rata yung 80%. Basta sobrang low nung damage na pumapasok pero may damage na pumapasok. Ang weird lang nung ano? Ang weird lang nung parang nangyayari. Iteration nung spell debuff. Para sa akin yung pinaka-importante change na is nakakast mo yung spell eh. Not so much the damage. The damage you don't really care about. The spell goes in. The spell goes in. Kung maganda apply yung spell hindi mo lang nakakuha yung debuff. Yung pinaka scary doon is parang ano eh, kapag nag-spin ka as jug, mm-hmm. tapos nag-tipi ka, tapos natimingan yung disruptor uh, na glimpse, diba? Yeah. Yung mga ganun. Yung glimpse. It's, it's very, very diba scary weird, yung mga ganun. Diba weird, nakawigan. <laughs> oh, ang weird nga. Nakawigan na, eh. pero nakabalik ka pa rin. So, it's, it's just, it adds an element to the game na parang, it, again, it's it's these little things, these little changes that makes mm-hmm. Dora very interesting pa rin. Na very playable pa rin siya kasi parang nakakaparing bag. Mabubwisit ka kapag nangyayari sa'yo yun, pero at least, oy, may, may ganto na pala, mm-hmm. diba? Mm-hmm. So, it, it, it's a it's a different game, but it's the same game yeah. at the same time if you get mm-hmm. what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's very weird. Kaya hindi nga yung gusto ko sa game. Eh. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying na super balanced siya, mm-hmm. pero... You're most, always learning eh. Yeah, mostly di sa mga changes, Right, that's the right word. ka masisilip na parang pwede. Uy, parang pwede natin i yeah. yeah. Pero yun nga, before we end this episode siguro, ako since sa akin, na-mention ko na, BKB, tanggalin mo totally. Uh, gusto ko malaman sa inyo, like, ano yung tingin yung possible na pwede nga, ano? Pa- possible change bago tayo mag-wrap up. Tayo. Honestly, kung gusto mo maging edgy lang, ha, hmm. tanggalin mo yung buyback, Bye-bye. tanggalin mo yung ages, yung mga gano'n. Uh, Those are bye- very big yeah, changes. Actually, uh, BKB, very big changes. Ikaw, Calbs. Yeah. <laughs> Mag-iba na naman mechanics. Laro na lang na ibang laro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course not. Di ba? Uh, I, 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 total mechanic change. I, ano eh? Pwede mong sabihin. Yung approach mo sa game, mag-iiba eh. Dalawa na lang yung lane. Right, right now, yung mga <laughs> teams kasi, lane, no? they really know how to play with the buybacks, di ba? Yeah, yeah. They know how to play yung uh, it's ages, a ages timer. Oh. Hmm. So, once you remove those, ito na naman tayo. Hmm. Kasi kung i-compare mo dun sa mga ibang laro, I think other games... Dota lang ata may buyback, I would say. Uh, sa mga MOBA. That correct me if I'm wrong. Legends, meron siyang uh, summoner think, spell na pwede kang mag... I, I, don't, I don't think there's parang, any any existing games right uh, now na may same thing as mechanic, buyback. Ito, yeah. Pagdating big, sa MOBA. Big 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 mechanic, mechanic. In, MOBA kasi, I mean, kasi off the top of my head, yung mga sikat, uh, Mobile Legends and League of Legends, wala silang buyback. Even while yeah, wala, uh, I, um, think, I think sa League of Legends nga, way back, parang naalala ko merong summoner spell na pwede kang mag... mag- hindi, parang wala. Resurrect or... Hindi. Basta yung, yung parang, yung parang A yung disc, yung parang uh, reset, yung gano'n, di ba? Parang, yeah. Or baka na-mix up Parang ages. Diba? Baka na-mix up. Ah, okay. Anyway, yeah. that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Again, this is Operation Seize Fire, powered by Predator. Ako si Kai, kasama si Nate, and si Calbs. See you on the next one. GG's. GG's.